Hi, beloved. Welcome once more to another episode of God's Word. My name is Evangel Blessing. So what do we do here? We talk about God, yes, and His daily prophetic messages for us, all right? These messages are to help encourage us, to help guide us, and to help keep us at the end of push, that the Lord is always with us, and we're never really alone. Listen, I already did a video, okay? I just did a video um, shortly, but as soon as I finished with that video, I heard the word from the Lord, okay? But unfortunately, I've already done recording that video and I will post in the video itself. I was already in process of posting the video, so there was no way I could attach this word of prophecy to that video. So I'm doing it alone, okay? He's calling me apart. He's calling me separately to do this. Um, somebody, somebody, you're going to find this message. Your heart, you're having heart palpitation heart palpitation i want you to check it okay i want to i will speak a word he says not to even bother speaking a word like praying for you that as soon as i am saying this to you right now as soon as you're hearing the sound of my voice listen all you need to do is believe believe if your faith can be as little as that of a monster seed listen we will do exploits here together right now the law says to tell you that that heart palpitation is giving way for you in the name of jesus i there's a res restoration i speak restoration in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i speak restoration upon that heart upon that body upon that soul stroke will not come to you no heart disease will come to you in the name of jesus because i belong to the royal priesthood a generation of christ i'm a, I'm a servant of the most high king i'm a loyal servant and a child of the, of, of she, jehovah shaman I speak a thing and it will not fall to the ground because my father speaks a thing and it does not fall to the ground. I speak a thing and it does not fall to the ground. Hear me. I'm a person who is very cautious. So the Holy Spirit led me to make a research, a sharp research on, on this heart palpitation, rather, what causes it. So I got to find, find out that excess caffeine intake, okay? Coffee, coffee, things that have excess caffeine, okay? Um, when you're doing too much exercise or something that is, is too much for your body, you need to cut down on that. You need to go alcohol, too much intake of alcohol, okay? And then cut down, try doing weight loss, all right? Overweight, being overweight can actually cause heart palpitation, all right? I made my research too, and, and it is to bless somebody here, okay? In case you don't know what heart palpitation is, you can make your research. But from what I found out, it, it, it's when the heart starts to skip make some irregular changes to the way it beats all right you you feel uncomfortable all right that that's that's, that's just the best i best research i could come up with in in few seconds i did my research but the holy spirit just put it in my i literally wrote it on the board i wish i could show you okay you know what i think i'm gonna show you now there it is there it is heart palpitation all right receive your healing i just stood up from where i was and the, and, and and the same minute i i got i got this i just wrote it down it came and the best part of it all is the fact that I didn't even make research. I, I didn't, before now, I, I'll just probably hear it randomly. It, it hasn't, I don't really like studying names of, of illnesses or something, a discomfort. So I haven't really made my research before now. So how it came to my mind had to be the Holy Spirit, okay? He put it in my mind for me to tell somebody you are healed. Receive your healing. Make sure you testify. Whenever a thing is done in your life, try to testify. If a word is spoken in your life don't like it don't that's how you miss your blessing your breakthrough be so quick to catch on to it and say amen to it you say amen to it okay don't like it i don't need you to like it just say amen to it. you've caught on to that word and when it happens in your life you testify that's how you get a, a a testimony or a thing healed in your life a miracle that remains constant if you don't testify and to, to this thing to this healing and you don't actually come out to say amen to it you are not accepting it you're saying i do not receive it so receive that healing in the name of jesus make sure you testify the lord loves you the lord loves you the lord loves you he is causing restoration in your life receive it in the mighty name of jesus amen